Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. I got a CCNA and CSENT video practice exam for you. Gonna have that up on the board in about 10 seconds. And as always, my questions are the dreaded select all that apply. I don't like them either, but they're really good for practice. So let's just jump right in. And today's question for each of these statements, not all of which are on the board yet, tell me whether it applies to ISL, IEEE 802.1Q, you should get a certification just for saying that without tripping, both or neither. And our statements, tags every frame except those destined for the native VLAN, B encapsulates every frame, C Cisco proprietary, D industry standard, and E, tags every frame except for those destined for VLAN 1 and the native VLAN. So if you need to pause the video for a moment, think about that. That's fantastic. I do want to thank every single one of you who are in my Udemy video boot camps right now. We're actually, uh, I think, over 10,000 students. We've got to get the banner updated. Uh, we're over 10,000 students in my free and paid courses. And just a quick word here. Udemy doesn't like us to put the discount codes here anymore where I used to put them. Uh, but anytime you see a paid course of mine on Udemy, please go over here and in the first couple of paragraphs, I will always have a discount code for you. And for this one right now, my most popular course, it is going to bring that course down to $44. And that's over 24 hours of my world-class video training for the CCNA certification. And by the way, that's $44 period, not per month. So let's get to today's question. For each of these statements, do this, does it apply to ISL, one q both or neither? And of course, we're talking about our trunking protocols. And A tags every frame except those destined for the native VLAN. That's dot one q And this is one reason you see so much dot one q today and you don't see so much ISL in that B encapsulates every frame is true of ISL. So dot one qs overhead is much less than that of ISL. Now ISL is Cisco proprietary, so C is ISL. You tend to think of the more popular protocols maybe as being Cisco proprietary, uh, but they're not. Uh, D, the industry standard, is .1Q. So again, .1Q uh, is going to tag all your frames except those destined for the native VLAN, and it's the industry standard. ISL encapsulates every frame and is Cisco proprietary, so ISL does have greater overhead. Now about that last statement, you want to watch this one. Uh, because this is neither. Tags every frame except for those destined for VLAN 1 and the native VLAN. Well, the native VLAN by default is VLAN 1, but that's changeable. And if you've got a lot of traffic, say, on VLAN 20, and you're not really using VLAN 1 because some companies don't use VLAN 1 for security purposes, um, then you would want to change your native VLAN to VLAN 20. And then in that case, what would happen is .1Q would tag every frame except those destined for VLAN 20. So E is a false statement. It's not going to be true of either one. And if you don't know how to change the native VLAN, it's something you should know for your CCNA exams and your CCMP switch exam as well. And I'm going to have a video boot camp on that actually tomorrow. I'm doing this one on March 6, 2013. And I will see you on March 7th with that one. And with over 325 other videos on YouTube, there's definitely something else for you to watch. Thanks for watching today and for making the Brian Advantage part of your Cisco certification success story.